Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. How are you guys? I'm so happy to be here with you today to bring you another video. Um, I started yesterday and I have been introducing this amazing fitting florets suite. It is a collection of products that you can start purchasing starting tomorrow. So if you guys were here yesterday and saw the video and are wanting to get your hot little hands on it, do not miss out. Order tomorrow because this stuff is going to go like hotcakes, I'm telling you right now, especially this gorgeous paper. And that is what we are showcasing today. The Fitting Florets um, collection has a bundle, um, an add-on stamp set, a pack of 12 by 12 designer series paper, and then some embellishments. So I'm going to show you. So this is the suite of pro. I mean, this is the bundle. So this is what you would get. And it's just for regular everyday stamping. We have an add-on Christmas stamp set called framed um, and festive. And then we have these gorgeous embellishments. We also have this beautiful pack of paper. And I think that this paper is going to go really quick. It's beautiful. Do not miss it. Because this is a sneak peek. The paper, this add-on stamp set, and these embellishments will not carry over. So they will not be in the next mini, but this bundle will. So if you can only afford a little bit of it at a time, get these three items first and then get this the next time because this is going to be available, but this will go away and you are going to want this. It is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this paper. So beautiful. Look at these patterns. And these are the colors of cardstock that it goes with. So, I mean, amazing colors, just so beautiful. So today I'm going to be using this stamp set here, the Framed and Festive. And I've actually done a lot of the stamping ahead of time just so that I can show you some cool techniques that are on the card. And this particular idea was a swap card that I got from my upline um, in a meeting that we meet as a group um, every other month and she allowed me to showcase this card so I'm really grateful thank you so much Melissa and um, anyway so this is our this stamp set here is what we're going to be focusing on and this gorgeous paper we're going to turn it into Christmas so are you guys ready let's check it out all right let me clear off my area and we'll get started this is the card we're making isn't it beautiful? So this little circle here is our decorative circle punch. Pretty cool. You have the little lock on it. It is um, a beautiful um, punch and that's what that goal, I mean what the white piece is out of. And then we're using some of the texture chic distressed gold paper. Look at that. Gorgeous. You can see I already have ink on myself so pretty it's white backed and is that shine not phenomenal so we're going to use that today i've already done the embossing ahead of time so well, let's just go ahead and get that ready we're going to punch this out so i'll show you the um little circle in action here it is so you will emboss it in gold embossing powder with your versamark ink and then you're going to find your spot here Make sure you're happy with how it's centered. And then you're gonna punch out your circle. This is what's gonna get attached onto our distress circle right here. All right, so let's get that out of the way. We are using some of this gorgeous paper and our base of our card is our soft succulent. So this is a piece of eight and a half by five and a half and we are gonna score it at four and a quarter, which is the center, bringing my points together. I'm gonna grab my bone folder and give this a nice crease. There is the base of our card. Use a bone folder, because look at how nice and flat this lays, guys. You just want to use that bone folder. You get that nice crease on your card. Now we're gonna use a piece of basic white cardstock that is four by five and a quarter. And this is the base of this card. You can see it has that here. But before we glue it down, we're going to add our strips of designer series paper. And so these are the three that I've chosen. So we're going to use the one with the berries, this really cool plaid, and this beautiful succulent with leaf 
um, imprints on there. So those are the pieces that are going to get attached. We are also using one of these gorgeous dies right here. That's this one. It's one of those de detailed ones. And look at how beautiful that is. So we're going to need that. We're also going to put a piece inside of this beautiful berry paper. So I have that. This is a half inch by five and a quarter. And these strips here are one and a quarter by five and an eighth. We have three pa different patterns. And then for the inside, again, we need a piece of four by five and a quarter. And I have stamped that with Evening Evergreen with the sentiment, may this season be filled with peace and joy. Again, I want to show you techniques for this card. So I wanted to get some stuff done ahead of time. These are the things that I want you to learn how to do. You see this beautiful ribbon here. You see this gorgeous ribbon right here. It's, I'm going to show you how to alter products to get that look. Okay. So we're going to be using the shimmer gold ribbon. Okay. This is what it looks like on the roll. We're going to be using the soft succulent open weave ribbon. Okay. And we're also going to be using the beautiful, oh my gosh, wait till you see these, Jingle Bells, and they're flat. That's what's so cool. Like, when you mail this, there are flat Jingle Bell trinkets. If you don't have these yet, why? Look how cool those are. They're sparkly, and they're just the coolest. And they're nice, heavy weight. You get quite a few of them in the package. I'm going to pull one out here because we're going to need that. Let me see how many come. 20 of them in this package. So do not forget about those. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to show you how to put this card together. All right. So we folded our piece of eight and a half by five and a half. Now we are going to take our strips, those three one and a quarter by five and an eighth pieces of designer series paper, and we're gonna glue them down onto this piece. So I'm gonna grab my silicone mat because whenever I use any kind of glue, it's always my go-to. Then what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna position these pieces where I want them so that I know where they belong, okay? on my card. Let's put this towards the outside like this. All right, so it looks like there's just a very slight border between all of those. See that? So what I'm going to do is now that I have them positioned, I'm going to move them here. I'm going to put them back. I want to make sure that they're in place where they want to live. And then I'm going to start with this middle one because if I glue that one down, the two outer ones are going to have no issue. So I'm putting this on my silicone mat here. I'm going to wiggle some wet glue and I'm using wet glue because I need the wig room. Now see why I use this mat? See how I got some off the edge and I didn't get it on my work surface. So now you guys know why I use this mat all the time. I'm messy, messy, messy. So I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to slide this back. I'm going to take this piece and I'm just going to hold this one in place. And I'm going to make sure that this one goes in between and that it is placed just where I want it. All right. So now let's take the next one. And we're going to put some adhesive on it. Again, I have my mat underneath, so if I do go off the edge, it's going to go on my mat. And I'll show you how easy it is to clean. I just didn't want to do it while I had, um, I still had to glue paper down. So I'm going to turn this to the side this time. It makes it a little easier for me to line up the sides and the top. And then just make sure that it falls into place at the bottom. Now, do you see why I secured that center one first? Because we wanted that look. And what's cool about this is see how the backs are have blue in this and then this whole card is just green and beautiful and monochromatic and that's what's so great about this paper i'm telling you you guys have got to get your hands on this paper it is exquisite so we're going to go ahead and attach 
this last piece. Again, I'm lining up the top and then this side here and just making sure that we have even pieces. <clears throat> and there is that piece. Now we're gonna attach this <clears throat> onto our card. So I'm gonna show you how I get this um, glue off of here, basically with my finger. So I'm just gonna rub it. And because it's a silicone mat, it's just gonna form like a little ball of glue. See it on my finger? And I can just throw that away. All right, so let's get this piece. We're gonna put the adhesive on it. All right, and we're gonna attach this onto our front. Fabulous. All right, our card is coming together quite nicely. Let's go ahead and put our inside inside. And then we're gonna attach that beautiful piece of designer series paper with the berries on top of it, you're gonna see. All right, let's put this on the inside of our card. And then I'm gonna showcase that beautiful ribbon, how to make it look cool there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this in place. I'm gonna lift that up so I can see that border. I think that looks great. Now this little set of berries is gonna go right here, okay, on this side. So we're gonna grab our adhesive, wiggle that down this little strip, make sure I don't go over. I probably did. I'm really good at that. Hence why I use it, why I use this mat. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and attach this piece right here on the end. Oh, so beautiful. All right. Make sure that it's in place and that I can slide it. Perfect. All right, I got a little bit of glue. I think I put too much on that end and a little bit of it oozed out. So I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that. All right, so when you are when you get glue, you have um, an adhesive remover. Stampin' Up! used to sell these and they stopped, but trust me, if you wanna become one of my customers and you place an order from me, I can probably hook you up. <laughs> okay, so there we go. That is the inside, really pretty. So this is the outside of our card. Now we're getting ready to do all this fun stuff. So let's go ahead and attach our circle, our decorative circle on top of our gold distressed circle. So I'm gonna use the same adhesive. You can see how beautiful that gold embossing looks with this pretty distressed paper. So gorgeous. All right. And guys, I have a lot of content this week with this. Not only am I doing my regular um, live on Tuesday, tomorrow, and my other four videos on YouTube, but I will have two additional videos. One went live this morning, and it is part of a blog hop that I'm a part of, and one is going live on Thursday morning or Thursday afternoon. I have my regular Thursday 3D video that will be live and then I'll put another one out in the afternoon. So don't miss all the content. I have a lot of content for this um, set of products. I really love it and I just really wanted to showcase it. So I participated in two blog hops and my regular stuff. So you guys are getting a ton of content for this um, beautiful suite. So you're gonna have, let me see, you're gonna have seven videos for this, pro for this product. Okay, so now we have our beautiful distressed gold circle with our pretty decorative circle over the top. Now I'm gonna talk to you about this ribbon, okay? So we have two ribbons here, okay? One is gonna be tied into a bow and it's gonna be looped through that beautiful um, bell. The other one is going to be shredded and I'm gonna show you how to do all of that stuff. So are you ready? I think you are. All right, we're gonna start with the with the shredded, okay? 
So we're gonna take this ribbon and let's see how long it is. Maybe five inches, six inches. Oh, five and a half. I just randomly cut us a, a piece. You don't really need that much. We're gonna end up trimming it, but I'm gonna do a knot here in the center and then I'm gonna do another knot, okay? I really want this knot to be nice and tight and I definitely don't want this to come unraveled. So we're knotting it, okay? We're gonna give this a nice knot right there in the middle, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I have scissors that I, that I keep just for ribbon and I'm gonna use those and see how there's edging on this ribbon? We're gonna cut that off. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this one and it's just a little border and I'm gonna get rid of it. And when I get close to that knot, I'm just gonna cut it off right there, but I'm gonna leave it near the base of that knot. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna cut that little edge off. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. And you see I'm using my mat as my catcher and then I can take it right to my trash can. I'm kind of a clean crafter, I guess. I mean, when I'm done, I have a mess on my desk, but I clean up before I do my next project, so I can't, I can't handle it. Okay, so there is that, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab this, and I'm gonna lean it into my trash can here that's next to me and kind of shake, shake that off of there as best I can. You can tell I have a metal trash can, can't you? It's making all this um, bing, zing, zinging noises. <laughs> All right, so next we're going to take our ribbon, okay, and we're going to take our take your pick tool. I'm going to grab the pointy end here, and I'm going to start pulling this ribbon. And what I'm doing is I'm separating the fibers from the shine, and all I'm left with is this fantastic sparkle. How awesome is that? We're gonna do it again. Okay, so we're gonna grab, we're gonna pull with our take your pick tool. I told you this is like my favorite tool. And I'm gonna just pull that fabric away a little at a time, okay? And I'm left with this gorgeous gold these gorgeous gold pieces, okay? And we've knotted the center, so it's not gonna fray all the way through. But now we need to get rid of this, okay? So I'm just gonna grab with my finger and I'm gonna kind of pick up, toss in the trash can, because it kind of becomes like this little fuzz that you can grab. Just get it all together. And then of course, um, it's worth the mess, guys, because look at how beautiful this is. It's gorgeous. I have to grab that last little piece. There we go. All right. So now that is what's going to go behind that bell. Okay. Now on to this technique. Okay. This is too wide to get a real tiny ribbon. So what I'm going to do is, again, with my ribbon scissors, I'm just going to cut down the length of this ribbon, okay, down the center of it. And I'm just sliding my blade a little at a time. And when I'm done, I can get two cards out of this one piece, but it will also give me a nice thin ribbon, but because it has these edges that are thicker, it's not gonna fray, okay? So now we have a thinner ribbon that we're gonna to use to tie this bow, okay? So we're gonna take this piece and I'm gonna make a point on this end and I'm gonna place it through that little catch-all here. If I can grab it, whoops, I dropped it. <laughs> if I can grab it, we'll be good as golden. Okay, let's try that one more time. Again, you're gonna make a little point and you're gonna kind of stuff it through there. I think I lost my point. Yeah, there we go. 
So there it goes. When, when you stuff it in there, you just want to grab it through the other side. So, of course, I'm on camera, and so I can't do it. But normally, it's not an issue. There we go. All right. <laughs> it's always this way, guys. Just forgive me, okay? <laughs> oh, at least I can laugh at myself, right? Hey, this is real life crafting. No editing of my videos. You got to see the crazy that I am. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put a knot here. Okay, that's gonna help hold it in place. And then we're just gonna basically, this gets put away for our next project. And we're just gonna basically tie a really pretty bow around our piece. My fingers are like extra big today or something. They don't want to work like they're supposed to, but there we go. So I'm going to pull that loop, hold on to the knot and pull that loop. And I kind of pull it till it's almost through because I want a very small bow. There we go. This one worked out. Let's try and get the other one to work out. Okay. Make it a little smaller. All right. So there's our really pretty bow that's attached onto our bell. And we're gonna make it behave, trust me, I'm gonna show you how to do that, because we are gonna use our um, glue dots. And the glue dots help make everything listen, okay? So those are those ends right there. We can trim them if we want to, whatever you wanna do. So let's go ahead and attach all of our pieces. So we're gonna start with this. I'm gonna use a dimensional. I gotta find them. What did I do? These are my minis, where's my regulars? Oh, here they are, okay. So we're gonna put a dimensional. We're gonna kind of put this leaf about there. You know, you want a little bit of it on your piece, but the circle is gonna be right here. So we're gonna put a dimensional where the circle's gonna cover like that, okay? And then we're also gonna take our knot and we're gonna lay it with a glue dot right next to that dimensional, okay? So let's grab our glue dots. We're gonna grab our little knot here. We're gonna put a little bit of adhesive on the back. And then we're gonna pull that back. And I'm gonna put this right next to the dimensional. I'm gonna lift my dimensional up. The, that dimensional is really just to hold in place that detailed die. So it's okay that this frayed piece goes over the top. See how beautiful that is? Gonna trim off any excess or strays that I don't like and pull those away. All right. So now, now comes the good part. We're gonna add dimensionals to the back of our circle, okay? And this is where it's going to live. You have that really beautiful bow around the outside. Doesn't that look so pretty? The way that it kind of um, is in that corner there. I think I actually want to move it up a little. I'm going to move it. I'm going to move that glue dot up. No one's going to see that I moved it. I'm going to put it above that because I think I want it a little higher. I think I like it higher. All right. So now we're going to put some more dimensionals, but we're going to put them on this circle. Okay. So we're going to go around our circle here and add a few of these guys. I over dimensionalized, so don't mind me because that's just how I am. I'm going to put one in the center. And I'm gonna grab my take your pick tool and pull the backs off. We're also going to add a um, mini glue dot onto our little bell, the knot of this one, okay? So we have that as well, and that will help to make this behave. All right, so we're going to lay this so that the glue dot's up. We're gonna position our little have yourself a Merry Christmas where we want that, maybe right there, okay? Oh, I love this card, it's so cute! And then we're gonna take another glue dot and we're gonna put it on the back of that bell because we don't want it to move. So we're gonna grab that one. All right, so now we have one on the, glue, on the back of the bell. And now this one's stuck to my finger, but on the knot of the bow. So you have two glue dots. And you're gonna place your ribbon here and your glue dot where you want your bell to lie 
and then you're gonna place your ribbon piece down the knot of your ribbon, okay? And then if you wanna trim your ends, you can. I'm gonna leave them, I like them a little wild, but I really wanted to show you guys how to attach, how to make your ribbon thinner and how to get this beautiful gold embellishment out of our ribbons that we already have. So I hope that you enjoyed learning how to do this. If it is your first time doing this with the ribbon or you've never seen this technique, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. I'm curious how many people know how to do this with their ribbon and how many people don't. Just let me know, I'd appreciate it. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this project. I think it turned out super duper awesome. Thanks for being here. Again, do not forget tomorrow, this set of products will be available. You can order it in one number, one price, or you can choose, pick and choose the items that you want from it. I hope that you guys enjoyed my project. Give me that thumbs up, subscribe, and definitely leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. I really would appreciate that. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Happy stamping, guys.